Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about hecklers. And I would go as far as to say that hecklers don't even exist. I know this is a very crazy accusation to say hecklers don't exist while a lot of us even had a lot of hecklers against them. And before we go into this, there are a few things you have to understand. First of all, I'll be making this video on a close-up situation. This is when you're going from table to table, you're higher than a gig, or you're just outside chilling with some people at a bar, and you're going over to people to show them some magic. For a situation on stage, which is entirely different, Alvaro will be making another video. Now, why do hecklers not exist? The reason is because I think we very often mislabel people as a heckler. Someone wants to shuffle our cards, they want to pick a card in a different way, and we say, oh, they're heckling us, they're, they're creating a difficult situation for us which we cannot solve. Which I think is just not true, you know? They're not really heckling us, they're more challenging us. They want to see our ability as a magician, and they want to see how good we really are. So they'll give us challenges, they, they want to make it even better because in some way they believe in you, they believe you can do it and they want to give you this challenge to make the experience more amazing for themselves because they have a little bit of an understanding how the trick is working. If you find yourself in a situation which you cannot solve, when you come home you want to look into different ways of solving it. So you were doing a trick and someone asks you like, hey, can I shuffle the cards? And you couldn't do this. When you come home, there are a lot of different sources. Expert card technique is a great one in which you can find different techniques, which with a little bit of imagination you could use to create a miracle effect. You see, when someone asks you to shuffle the cards, you can actually make the effect even more amazing than it was in the beginning. Because now you gave them a little bit of control. It's not only the magic happening in your space, You've extended it to them. You gave them a bit of power and you're now doing magic under their conditions, not under your own. Of course, there are some people who say, yeah, but it doesn't matter, I still get heckled. And for those people, I think you have to look at yourself a bit. What's the intention you're doing magic with? Are you doing magic because you want to show people how, how great you are, how cool you are, what you can do? Like, hey guys, look at how cool I am. Look at all these cool tricks and cuts. Or are you showing people magic because you learned this beautiful art and you want to show them something genuine, amazing? Look, if you want to show people how cool you are and how good, I mean, that's, that's okay. It's a bit shallow, but some people will still accept it because they get to see something pretty amazing. But there are some people who have this big feeling of importance and they'll freaking hate it. They'll hate that you're doing it and they'll start to hack you. They'll start to bring you down because right now you're, you're screwing with their hero position. Like they think like, oh no, this guy's going to be more cooler, more amazing. They feel threatened by you. And because of this, they're going to start to try to drag you down, to make you insecure, to screw over the things with which you would be in a better position than them. But that's only a stupid, shallow game. It's not your intention as a magician and it's not the best space from which to do magic for people. The best space from which to do magic for people is to want to genuinely show them something amazing. I worked on this beautiful thing, this beautiful art, and I want to share this with you. I want to show you something incredible which you cannot see anywhere else. At that point, you're sharing. You're sharing with people this beautiful experience, instead of taking status from them. A sharing opinion is not only much better, it opens up people for greater magic, it also opens up their mind, makes them feel more safe, and they feel more willing to receive good magic, to give you a bit of control, to take them into this wonderful world. So I want to suggest everyone to look within yourself first. Look with what intention you're doing magic, and how you're doing it and then start to blame other people. Because I cannot imagine why some people never have hecklers and others have them every show or few. Just know that when you're doing magic from this space of sharing, and someone is really heckling you, usually his, even his friends will tell him to shut up 
because he's ruining something very special and entertaining for them. I hope this was useful to you guys. <laughs> Rico is signing out.